Cervical cancer is the third most common cancer in women worldwide. It is caused by high-risk human papilloma virus and is one of the leading causes of cancer-related death in developing countries. In developed countries, however, it is relatively uncommon due to the availability of screening programs. Cervical cancer is one of the most preventable cancers worldwide. Prevention of cervical cancer can be divided into primary prevention and secondary prevention. Primary prevention is aimed at preventing getting infected by human papilloma virus, sexual promiscuity, using condoms, and vaccination against human papilloma virus are some of the measures in the primary prevention. Secondary prevention includes screening programs to identify premalignant or early stages of the cancer. Pap smear test for cervical cytology, HPV DNA testing, and colposcopy are some of the screening methods available for cervical cancer screening. Unlike many other types of cancer, cervical cancer has an identifiable precancerous stage called cervical intraepithelial neoplasia or SIN. Progression from SIN to cancer stage takes at least 10 years. Therefore, early identification and treatment will improve the prognosis of cervical cancer significantly. Papanicolaou, or PAP test, has a higher specificity for cervical cancer, but a low sensitivity. It was invented by the Greek physician George Papanicolaou in 1928. However, its efficacy was proven by the year 1941. The onset and frequency of doing pap test varies in different countries. For example, in the United States, it is commenced when the woman is 21 years of age. In the United Kingdom, it is started when the woman is 25 years of age. And in developing countries, it is started after the age of 30. Women who have received HPV vaccine should also undergo pap smear at the appropriate age. High-risk women should be screened annually for cervical cancer, including women with HIV infection, women on long-term steroid therapy and organ transplants, and women with autoimmune diseases such as systemic lupus erythematosus. PAP test involves collection of exfoliated cells from the cervix, more specifically, from the transformational zone, and examination under the microscope. The presence of coilocytes on examination is the hallmark of HPV infection. After examining the cells, the pathologist gives a comment on the histology of the transformational zone. Before starting, explain the procedure to the client and obtain the consent. Women who undergo pap test should abstain from sex 48 hours prior to the procedure. Vaginal medications, lubricants, vaginal contraceptives, and dutches should also be avoided. Pap test should not be performed if there is a visible lesion on the cervix, if there is active bleeding, or if there is an obvious infection. Patient should be placed in the dorsal position, as you can see in this picture. A sterile speculum moistened with water should be inserted through the vagina to visualize the ectocervix clearly. Avoid using lubricating gel or antiseptics. Insert the air spatula or cervical brush into the cervical brush and rotate clockwise through 360 degrees. The material is then smeared on a slide. Slides are then wet fixed without air drying by immersing it immediately in a jar filled with 95% alcohol for 30 minutes. Do not put more than 5 smears into the same jar. Transport the smear to the laboratory within the next 7 days. Then the slides are stained with Papanicolaou stain and looked under the microscope. 